Okay, so today I've got the 24 gigabit desktop slash rack mount switch. This retails for about uh, either $90 US or £75 in British pounds. So I'm just going to open it because it's, um, as you can see, it's sealed. I have the 16 gigabyte one, uh, six, sorry, 16 gigabit port one. Um, but uh, I've now outgrown it and I'm expanding my network this year. Um, I'm getting some building work done and doing uh, the loft. Well, having to redo the loft because the loft was done by a cowboy builder, so it has to be <laughs> completely gutted. And uh, the best uh, time to do networking in the rest of the falls would be when uh, the loft's being done so I can route all the cables and everything. So this one's gonna go downstairs, placing the 16 port one. And then there'll be, this will either go in the garage or um, depending on it, how many uh, ports I need, the, um, I might have to buy another 24 port one. So the 16 port will either go in the gar garage or go in the loft. But this one will be going on underneath the uh, stairs down, downstairs. And that will be my central hub downstairs where my current one is. But I'll be moving it to a much more suitable location. So I'm just going to open it now. I've had the... 16 port one since 2013 it's been on non-stop and it hasn't given me a problem whatsoever so I thought I stick with the same brand stick them on very well okay so. <clears throat> Just open and voila what you get in here the box will stay open Oh, you get standard terms and conditions. These are in your, your installation guide. Well, this is a real, you know, plug and play machine. Um, so you don't really need to read this <laughs> if you don't want to. There's no setup required. You get your um, power cord. Mine, of course, is UK based. The UK power cord with the kettle end. These are your mounts for your rack. Or if you put it on a desktop, you've got the rubbers to put to sit on. Now the actual box. So they're all been numbered, so there's 24 ports on there. And then here is where the lights illuminate. And you have one light for the, for the link. And you have another light. The other light below that is to tell you whether it's gigabit or not. So it'll be 100 megabits. It'll be transferring out. So it'll actually tell you, which is pretty good. And my other box has that function as well. Uh, this is the fan, uh, fanless, fanless version. The older version had a fan, but uh, uh, they removed it because I think they got the power, um, 
power usage of the house uh, for the machine down. So the machine was cooler, so they didn't need the fan anymore. So they took that out as well, and that saved a little bit more power. <laughs> but most um, companies now, to save power, they're taking out the lights on the uh, LEDs. I mean, um, for the Ethernet ports, the LED ones that flash on either side. So some machines don't even have this. But um, obviously I would like to have something illuminate and tell me that it's working. <laughs> but if you'll notice on your um, your Freeset box or your uh, Sky box, the older Sky boxes had them, the flashing lights, but the newer ones don't. They've removed it. Save power and I guess save money on manufacturing as well. But it's only like a very tiny amount of uh, money you would save by taking that light out for the uh, for the consumer's electricity bill and the manufacturer probably may save a penny maybe per unit but that dot of course does add up in the thousands that they make <laughs> so next thing to do is test whether this works or not okay so it powers up the power check whether the connections work just need to check one really by plugging in this loop the loop that comes up so of course it's just going around <laughs> so it does and that's it. so the top light is the link and the bottom light is the gigabit so this cable is gigabit verified so it's sending the gigabit signal from that end to that end. So that proves it works. And uh, I know how the whole thing works because I've got the 16 gigabit one already. So this would just fit nicely into my expansion because at the moment I'm running out of ports because I've done my living room, my dining room, the conservatory, two for the garage, so that's, uh, <laughs> sorry, where am I going? It's out of 12, that's 14. So I've only got two spare at the moment. But then those are being used up as well, the, the two spare ones, to send signal upstairs. So I'll actually be short of two ports in total. Because I want to send another two to the living room because I've only got four in the living room and I've got more and more devices that use uh, internet and I want to keep them all wired so I need the uh, lot you know the larger box to support all of that for future use so likely in the loft I'll probably be using another 24 gigabit one send the signal to the remaining bedrooms uh, so that's three bedrooms downstairs, then you've got the loft upstairs, and I want to probably send 12 in the loft, to, uh, you know, to keep 12 in the loft, and then four to each bedroom, and that, that should be enough for it. But in my bedroom I plan to have, you know, a smart TV, Xbox, Playstation, and all of those things add up, so you need more and more ports. And uh, the quickest and fastest and safest way, uh, which quickest and fastest is the same word, sorry, <laughs> um, is to use um, network, networking cable, because it's more reliable than wireless, because wireless, of course, as you know, you lose connection over walls and distance. So, you know, it's a stable connection. You know, if the broadband say 80 meg, you're going to get 80 meg upstairs connected whereas wireless you could be getting your 80 meg broadband speed but you only have like uh, 15 up the top there and then the occasional dropout because you're so far away from the router or because you've got installation which is something that you know if you've got uh, king span uh, installation in your house that bounces the signal too so that helps you with heating but of course it's a no-no with networking uh, but then it shields, helps shields connections as well. So 
it's got its um, negatives and positives, but uh, obviously I want to uh, have everything wired and then that just frees the Wi-Fi signal up for um, laptops and iPads and phones, anything that's, uh, you know, normally wire wireless anyway. But I don't see the point of having, you know, your Skybox connected to wireless uh, because that just defeats the object because it's wired <laughs> to begin with. So one, one extra cable ain't going to hurt and it's going to give you a much more a reliable connection and I just think it's so much better to do it that way than it is to use you you know use wireless um, but what I'm going to do is one of the ports on here as well I'm going to set up a wireless um, repeater or access point using one of the ports up in the loft so that way I get a full Wi-Fi coverage as well so my phones um, and my laptop and all that sort of thing will get a strong wireless uh, connection but how I do it in my house is that the wireless is on between 9 o'clock to uh, about 12 o'clock and then it switches off to save power because between those hours you don't, I don't use uh, wireless and if I do I'm on the internet I'll be on my Xbox and that'll be wired so um, I'm slowly turning the house into a networking hub so um, I'll prob it probably be better than most people's offices in the end um, how it's set up because most people's offices tend to use Cat5 or Cat5e and I'm using Cat6 and Cat7 so the downstairs is all Cat6 and the link between the router and the loft will be Cat7 so future use when these things um, we don't come to replace these with um, 10 gigabit support machines when they become more widely uh, affordable then um, that will happen and I don't have to change all the cables but CAT6 can support 10 gigabit but it's again it's going to be very limited because CAT7 will be able to support 40 gigabyte as well so there's more future proofing in CAT7 so um, but for downstairs most of the devices it's not going to really matter so cats gigabits good enough so uh thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe i hope you found this video informative and uh hope to see you again soon